nearly two thirds of U.S. adults unaware that six million Jews were killed in the Holocaust. In the United States of America, almost two thirds of young American adults do not know that six million Jews were killed during the Holocaust, and more than one in ten believe Jews caused the Holocaust. A new survey has found revealing shocking levels of ignorance about the greatest crime of the 20th century. According to the study of millennial and Gen Z adults, almost half, 48%, could not name a single concentration camp or ghetto established during the Second World War. Almost a quarter, 23%, said that they believed the Holocaust was a myth or had been exaggerated or that they were not sure. One in eight, that is 12%, said that they had definitely not heard or didn't think they had heard uh, about the Holocaust. The claims conference set up a task force to oversee the survey. Data was collected from 1,000 interviews nationwide and 200 interviews in each state with young adults between the ages of 18 to 39 selected at random. Okay, 10% 10 10 think the Jews caused, caused the Holocaust? Like they did the Holocaust, ten percent. Um, that's a pretty small sample, but one it's not in surprising ten. Yeah. to me. One in ten what, believe the Jews. What's the sample them. size? Um, one thousand interviews. Okay, no. Rivka, that's statistically significant. That is, I know, you know but once you get I, after it's a certain, not surprising to me. Yeah, okay, so for people, so once you get after a certain number of sample size, then every, anything above that is not really going to make much of a difference. If it's, if it's more, what people need to worry about is more the data collection method, the methodology of the collection. If it's randomized and it's as adjusting for all the uh, external variables, then 1,000 is plenty to actually be statistically significant. But yeah, it is, it is. Yeah. Okay. So, how two thirds of young U.S. Okay. So, the biggest is this the biggest or most shocking one? Go on, Susanna. Um. So the this like blew my mind. So they ranked states according to the scores based on three criteria. Check out the low the low bar of these three criteria, which is whether the young person between the age of eighteen to thirty nine had definitely heard about the Holocaust, whether they can name one concentration camp, death camp, or ghetto, and whether they knew six million Jews were killed, right? These three criteria. That's like the bare minimum. And um, the top scoring state of meeting those simple three criteria was Wisconsin, where only 42% of the adults met all three criteria. And that's wow. the highest ranking state. Hmm. You know what I thought was interesting, too, is that they didn't necessarily have a correlation between how much mandatory Holocaust education they had and the mm -hmm. knowledge that these young adults had. For example, New York had a really surprisingly low score, which that actually surprised me a little bit more than people thinking that, you know, Jews caused the big H because that doesn't surprise me. I mean, I hear that kind of stuff all the time. What do they mean by cause, though? Uh, first of all, we got a new um, uh, uh, member, the cult breaker. Thank you, thank you so much. You're helping us keep um, keep this channel monetized. So thank you. Um, and we, yeah, uh, Vincent is saying welcome. But yeah, what does it mean cause? Like, do they mean like it was their fault or they actually like did it? I've heard all of it. I've heard that they were actually behind it. I've heard that it's because of the way Jews are that people mm. were like this. Oh, or if they weren't, you know, so disloyal or so bad or so this or that. Or then the other big one is that it was the Jews' fault from World War One that Germany mm. was in such a bad economic state and therefore that your audio why... Rivka, your audio is very low. I don't know if you could bring the microphone oh, closer. Yeah, I can hear her fine. Okay. The one I hear, Rivka, tell me if this is what you hear. The one I hear is that it was on purpose designed by 
Again, YouTube, please, please, YouTube. I'm not saying this. I'm just telling you what other people say, okay? They're saying that the elite J people, okay? Maybe I could throw off YouTube a little bit, okay? The, the elite Js. The elders sacri- of Z. The elders of Z. <laughs> they the have sacrificed. tribe of A. <laughs> <laughs> they sacrifice a lot of their own people. So that they could get Israel. I've heard that too. Wow. I've heard that too. That wow. this is all a big plan <laughs> because they're running the world and they want this country. Victimize. Yeah. They want to yeah, play I the mean, victim card. The super villains who also want to play the victim. Who, right. I mean, it's like the Schrodinger's, you know, um, uh, minority. You know, we're horrible. Is it- but, but is that so... that's not okay? That's not as weird to me as the people that don't even know. Like we have, you say, like Susanna said, that two thirds of young adults are not even aware of the Holocaust, right? Um, so do not right. know that six million Jews were killed. Okay, not know. Okay. And then, By the way, I don't it... like. Can we always give a shout out to the gays and the handicapped yes. people yes. and the gypsies that were oh, killed as well? Nice. Yeah, because. Every time I see her, like, again, nothing to, you know, yeah, six million Jews, obviously, we should always remember that. But there also, let's, million more. there are several million more people that died, okay? There were other people who were killed yeah. as well. Like, let's also remember them as well, okay? Mentally uh, handicapped, physically mentally handicapped, Roma, um, communists, LGBT people, uh, all kinds of um, people that the regime didn't like. Right. You know, so anybody really could become a criminal. But there were certain specific ones that were targeted. Yeah. yeah and they, you know, I, another thing that saddens me is actually the people who remember the Holocaust, even the people who remember everything about it, a lot of them miss the point mm-hmm. of remembering the Holocaust. Mm-hmm. Because... I mean, even a country, even Israel as a country, is not condemning um, China. Okay, and they this is the closest thing that we have to, uh, to concentration camps. Um, one of the closest things we have to concentration camps since World War II, and a country like Israel, for example, is not come out and recognize the Armenian genocide, uh, the genocide of the Armenian people by Turkey. Because of the relationship that Israel wants to keep with Turkey. I think right? they did, but maybe I'm wrong. Nope. Maybe. Correct me if I'm right, wrong. I, they might have had an argument about it in Knesset. But they, ne- they never argued. They never, the Armenian genocide was never officially recognized by Israel, right? So the point, the point of remembering the Holocaust is to try to learn from history and avoid shit like this happening in the future, okay? So maybe, um, but even a lot of people like around the world where, where they remember the Holocaust, it's good to remember the Holocaust. Hold on. Why is someone calling me? Party foul. <laughs> yeah. No, but the point, maybe that was my overlords. The, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Reminding me, giving I me the mess. Med- <laughs> no, like, you know, oh, like, maybe I'm, uh, much, I'm, I'm <laughs> speaking too much. Like, no, 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 be- Armin, you're stepping out of line. <laughs> no, that's the color. Good. No, no. But yeah, no, uh, Christy is saying, never forget. Yes, never forget, but also remember the point of never forgetting. You're not just for you're not just remembering for the sake of remembering it for for the for the sake of turning this into a ritual that you make sacred. You know, is don't turn it into a religion. Don't turn it into this sacred thing that is just holy for the sake of being there. Okay, yeah. it's meant to have a practical purpose. It's not sacred for, you know, don't make like Holocaust memorial and everything associated with it as something like that is holy and sacred. Okay. No, there's only practical reasons. There shouldn't be practical pur- reasons for why we do this. Rivka is about to correct me. Go on. No, 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 no. I was going to go back to this. So, yeah, you're right. But I also know that they did bring up a bill um, in 2018. To re- for the country officially to recognize it, but it was not, sh- it, you know, um, 
kind of shot down. And then mm. I know that some leaders um, have called on the country to do it, like uh, Yer Lapid from Blue and White, Likud even, Gideon Sar, some of them have, but, and there's other um, Knesset members that have officially done it, but the country as a whole, and that bill in 2008, because that's what I was... Oh, you're getting cut. Oh, no. She... She's cut oh. for me as well. Cut for you as well. Rivka, well, she was giving us some very good information, eh? I know, damn. That was Should like the worst time for her to get cut. Put her backstage for a second. Oh. Oh, are you back? I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> again, I the powers that be, again, by the way, guys, you're joking, okay? <laughs> Rivka, well, you're spilling it too. To... You're spilling, you're giving us too much information. This is what's happening. I'm telling you, I got a phone call. You're getting cut. There's this conspiracy up here again. But go on. What did you say? Oh, you got cut again. Oh, shit. Okay, tell us fast. Maybe tell us without your camera. Turn off your camera. Uh, okay, tell how, us. Tell us can fast. You hear me now? No, yes, just yes. that that's the whole point is that Israel is supposed to be a light among nations. You're supposed to recognize this. Yes. You are supposed to never again means for everyone, not just your friends or the people that you choose it. It's always forever. That's why you say it. Hmm. So the point is that they they should be recognizing things like the Armenian genocide and standing up for that because that's yeah. what it means to be a light among nations. The fact that Israel is not leading the charge against uh, China right now is a is something to be ashamed of. Like, honestly, like shame on Israel right now for not leading the charge against China because they have the highest, the, the most reason and the most experience and the greatest excuse. And as Rivka said, the shine among nations to be at the front of all the other countries in the world based on their experience and what they had to go through they have to be in front of all the other nations right now calling out China for this bullshit. And they are not, not only they are not leading it, they're not even doing it. They even have a, they even have a strong relationship with China and they're not using that stronger relationship to call out this fuckery, right? So again, shame on, uh, again, not on Israel because not on all Israel, we don't want to generalize, but shame on the current administration in Israel for not doing this right now, okay. And Rivka, do I do you, do I do I get your Jew, do I get a Jew card for Israeli? Oh, you're not Israeli, so never mind. I, we have well, Rivka here. I She's giving me a card. I wanted to make Aliyah. Yeah, <laughs> do it, do it. It's good. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, wait, no one can eat just one. Oh, okay. Yeah, Susanna. <laughs> He's talking about me yeah. eating chips. Yeah, stop eating <laughs> junk food. Okay. This is the problem with Susanna. She never gets fat, so that's why she eats junk food. I'm so You're just jealous. mad. I wish I had that kind of metabolism. No, I'd it's not kill good. For that. I would kill for that. No, it's not good because then you end up eating unhealthy food without any fear and end up, you end up paying for it. Who cares? You're... As long as you're skinny, what, it does, what's important is how you look, Armin. Okay. <laughs> just, don't act like you, you specifically want me to get fat so you can fat shame me. Yes. Yeah, I can't wait. Are it you will help. Are complaining about me eating shitty foods if you are waiting to fat shame me <laughs> yeah I'm waiting oh i'm for just that. waiting till you hit your late 30s and then you know you're gonna have yes. to change all your habits because so screwed. unless you're one of those people who's just lucky your whole and life okay let's go to the news thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, 
But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos.